So thank you for joining us at today's council meeting. So what we have here is I have a variety of pre-release kits, a bundle, a mystery booster pack, and a, another of the gnome repacks. So I'll go ahead and move this off to the side and we'll start opening. We'll save those two for last, but I will go ahead and open up these others to see what's in here. Just gonna do a little bit of really quick openings. And let's see what we can find inside. Sorry about that, someone at the door. So let's see what we get in these. So still sad that I haven't really played pre-release with any of these other than Zendikar Rising. So we got a blue die. Put that off to the side. We'll pull out the code off to the side here. Put that down. So six packs there. Let's keep opening these and see what we get. A white die. Put that off to the side. Put that down. Six core 21. Then we've got the Zendikar Rising one. With the red die. Dang, it's not one of those super cool green dice that they had in some of the pre-release kits. I don't know if that was a matter of just some of them having it or what. All right. Uh, might as well pull the bundle stuff out, too, since we're doing all that right now. Won't show the other stuff on camera. It does come with a really cool die. So I'll move those die over here. we got our packs over here. those and then we'll put this off to the side and we'll open in this order of course we got land packs but those aren't really worth anything at this point but as if you watch the other video I need lands because I'm building too many decks so let's start with Ikoria so some of the companions have been spiking lately which is cool to see. Yorian and Luris are the two big, biggest that are spiking. There's also the Triomes in here. Okay, so Spike Dragon, Flame Spill, Cunning Night Bonder, and a Mythos of Nethroi. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I've been lecturing all day and my throat's sore. Okay, so Wingspan Mentor, Skull Prophet, Polywog Symbiote, and a Ruinous Ultimatum. Probably go through this fast. Some of the Ultimatums, are, they're okay on price. I don't think they're... Ooh, we got something shiny back there. Okay, so Rooting Mock, Tyonath Rex, Indatha Crystal, which I like, so I'll pull out here. Ooh! <coughs> That's a really good hit. Shark Typhoon and a foil Offspring's Revenge Rare. So our first foil is a foil rare. And that Shark Typhoon is a really good hit. That's one of the solid rares in the set. Okay. Easy Prey, Necropanther, Heartless Act, and Whirlwind of Thought. So, if I were playing this in a pre-release, honestly, I have no idea what I'd be doing. It would need three colors, and I don't do well with three colors. Fight is one, back for more, Polywog Symbiote, a Skycat Sovereign, and a Blazing Volley Foil. So, I do have blue <coughs> and red. But in white, but I don't know how well that would all work. 
Okay, so we've got Keen Sight Mentor, Grail Sky Mentor, Dark Fang Mentor, and that is a hit, so definitely white would be a color. Probably be doing blue white with a little bit of flying, maybe. So Luminous Brood Moth as our first mythic. So let's go to Core 21 now. We'll just keep going through this to see what we can find. So we got a glorious anthem. Sanctum. So I don't think anything too spicy, but again, pulling out the lands because I need the lands. It's a running joke. I built too many decks. But it's fun to build decks for me. So we got a pursued well. And that's about it. So nothing too great in that pack. So I don't know how well this pre-release would have done because the Pursued Well is not a great card. I probably would have been going Anthem, you know, Shacklegeist, trying to force blue, I think, with some Sanctums. Man, that would be rough. These packs are kind of falling apart, though. One thing I'm noticing here, let me just get my trash out of the way. Did not set up right. The trash can. Oop, we got one of the cool swamps, but I don't think it's worth anything anymore. Got land, land war visionary foil and a cat rock. <laughs> so this would definitely be a dud of a pre-release, I think. I would not do well with this one. What would ooh 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 ooh. I spoke too soon because I have a foil Mythic Grim Tutor. Put that there in the Temple of Milady. Sorry, I need adult supervision sometimes. Uh, that's probably our solid hit, although you can see, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but I can definitely see it, but there's, there's roller lines on there from the packing process. Okay. So Faith's Fetters and the Massacre Worm Mythic. So I probably would have been playing a little bit of black and whatever else, maybe green, because I have the fixing for it. And I would be having a wonderful time. So this turned out to be not so bad of a pack. Just the first few were not the greatest. Definitely happy with the Massacre Worm. I need more of those. Okay, so we do need to be careful with some of the uncommons here because they're rising up price. So we got Surge, Gollum, Soaring Th Thought Thief, and a Hagra Mauling with a full island. So don't have any commons that are quite up there yet, but there's a couple that are getting close. So Thundering Rebruk. Relic Axe, Kabiri Takedown, and a Magmatic Channeler. The planes. So this one is also starting off weak. I wonder if it'll end like the other one did. Because that other one ended pretty good. So, Spirit of Adventure, Skyclave Shadowcat, a Calm Warrior, and a Swarm Shambler with Angel Heart Protector Foil and a nice forest and copy token more in this pre-release pack so we, we'll see what we get so for the grave shatter skull minotaur Omara wizard and a scoot swarm so we'd at least be playing green i think green would definitely be a color we would be playing just what other colors would we play is our real question so roiling regrowth Merfolk Falconeer, Tangled Floor Hadred, and a Crawling Barons. So, yeah, we would definitely play green. And that Tangled Floor Hadred would be super helpful. Thought maybe it was a Balagad Recovery. That's up over a couple bucks now. Not too bad for a standard set for an uncommon. Well, it's still in print in a very new set. So, Allied Assault, Skyclay Pickaxe. Yeah, I'm definitely playing green and whatever. Else I can make work, Skyclave Cleric, 
and a coveted prize. Maybe go Golgari again, because that's how I roll. Okay, Cal time. The Viking set. I love this set. It's dropping in price because of all of the openings, but I love the set. So we got an Agar, the Freezing Flame, Cole, the Forge Master, Sertland, Frostpire, and a Tabalt Trickery. It's gone down in price, but it's still good with a best. Beskir Shieldmate, and Arctic Tree Line. So I'll put my snow lands off to the side, especially those snow, snow, low lands. Sorry. Enter tapped in their snow. Okay, we got Gates of Istfell, Rune of Might, Three Seasons, and another mythic, Resplendent Marshal, with the Glacial Floodplain. So we're doing pretty good. Pretty good. Only the Zendikar Rising didn't have a mythic. The others have all had mythics. So we've got Forging the Tyrite Sword. Which I'm kind of sad we... Eh, yeah. Kind of see it, but hmm, not really. Provoke the Trolls. Divine Gambit. And an Egon, God of Death. Just gorgeous alternative frame with Snow-Covered Forest. Fortunately, it's not worth much. The collector boxes have really just nuked the prices. Too many variants, too many versions. It makes it easy to cult. It, it makes it easy to play. But as far as like collecting and selling, it's not great. So we got a Bloodline Pretender, Valkyrie Sword, Axe Guard Armory, and an Ascendant Spirit. Not worth a lot, but it's fun. And a Snow Covered Plains. So just kind of. Zooming through this. Okay, we got a Frostpire Arcanist, Shepherd of the Cosmos, a Nutgold Slumber Mound, and a Battle for Bretgard with a Carfell Harbinger Foil and a Tree Line. Uh, doing okay. I mean, the Marshall is the big hit so far from this bundle. I think this would end up being an average bundle, though. So we've got a Narfi Betrayer King. Clarion Spirit, Trickster God's Heist, and a Blight Step with Snow Covered Swamp. Yeah, definitely think that this one is maybe even slightly below average. But then again, the prices have tanked so hard, it's really difficult to say for sure. So we got a Maja Bretgard Protector, Avalanche Caller, Fearless Liberator, and a Vargoth, Blood Sky Sire. Love this card, need more of it. Definitely. And a forest. I mean, we did get the Marshal, the Sire, the Pathway, and Tabalt's Trickery, which it did drop in price. Had to get banned because it was naughty. Doomscar Titan, Hailstorm Valkyrie, Lichara Mirror Lake, and a Harald Unites the Elves with a Plains. Yeah, none of those have turned out to be worth a lot, those new sagas. Eh, it's okay. It's fun to play, those. Okay, so we got a Boreal Outrider, Frost Augur, Invasion of the Giants, and an Eskius Chariot. Snow Covered Mountain, and a Savala Ice Shaper Foil, which hasn't started to crawl yet, so I gotta get that into a sleeve. So I do want to play with that as a commander. It should be fun. It'll work in Commander, but in regular, it's just, it, no, it's too slow for Brawl. Especially the 1v1. So we got a Carder Doom Scourge, Path to the World Tree, Giant's Amulet, and a Glorious Protector with a Spara Sentinel. So I think that was probably an maybe slightly below average. So we've got Linvala of the Seagate as. A foil that is already starting to curl right out of the pack. People don't believe that it happens curling right outside of the pack. While well, in the pack. So, got a Maze my Tome. And then a Hunted Nightmare foil. So, And I don't know if you can... Yeah, that was in the box like that. 
So very unfortunate. So we've got a mystery booster in this. So uh, let's do it with this. Odds, evens. So we'll do this one first because it was a 12. Hard to tell with that one, but I just love these. So wash your hands, gnomies. Shout out to Geekified. So. So we've got by gnome means, which is hilarious to me. Lanowar Visionary Foil. Ooh. Extended Volcanic Salvo. Vazri's Lieutenant. Pre-release. Mithros of Adrock. Pre-release. A Sculpting Still. A True Conviction Foil. Ooh. A Stamped Gilded Lotus. An Eliminate. Nice. Chevelle Bane of Monsters Stamped. Extinction Event. Pre-release, Song of Creation pre-release, Stamped Foil, Narset's Reversal, Ooh, Godzilla King of Monsters bo uh, box topper that was the buy a box promo. Oh. Now I forgot to put some Mythics over here, so let's look at some Mythics real quick. And oh man, can't believe. This would have been just the absolute best hit, you know, over a year ago. <laughs> but Oko got banned. I'm putting together a coma deck, and maybe this will end up in there. Ooh, and we got a full art foil mountain with a shape shifter and elemental foil token. So that'll end up in... Yeah. <laughs> that will be fun. So... Go through this kind of slow because you can have I saw the D and I thought ooh demonic tutor you can have pretty spicy commons and uncommons but I don't think that's the case here so we've got a Wrath Capation Ship's Mage a Millstone a Get to War Cry Cage Sun which is pretty good ooh. and a Mana Wef Slever which Sliver creatures you control have tapped to add one man of any color to your mana pool. Definitely a needed card in any sliver deck. Well, thank you for joining us today at our council meeting. If you're on the lookout for cards, please, please, please check out our sponsor over at Geekified. Special thanks to Geekified for this stuff. Um, they have sealed product and singles, so check them out. To let them know that we sent you. If you want to know when we're meeting next, go ahead and subscribe, hit that bell notification, and join us in our Discord. I uh, really recommend joining us in our Discord because we have pretty good giveaways from time to time, and we also conduct box breaks with a really spicy one. Rumor has it, it's Scars of Mirrodin. So go ahead and check that out, and maybe pick up a pack or two. So thank you all for joining us today. Hopefully this has been an enjoyable meeting enjoyable video for you and we hope to see you at the next one so thank you again and the meeting is now adjourned hope you have a fantastic day